Hi, I'm Allison Ellis of Floral Artistry. Thanks for tuning in. It is June. It's officially wedding season, like everywhere across the country, across the world. I'm watching people make such amazing floral designs, and it's really inspiring. And it helps me recognize so much potential in other people, in myself, and really in for our industry. Like floral design has just got so much ahead of it. Um, there's so much for all of us to do and explore, and it's really, really exciting. So when I look at the, these amazing designers, and I think, wow, they're so talented and incredible, and I am inspired. I know that there are other people who are sometimes looking at these amazing designers and their success and feeling jealous or envious or inferior, like they're just not as cool or hip or successful as somebody else. So if you're somebody who finds yourself feeling jealous sometimes, this video is for you. Creative businesses are, I think we're just more susceptible to feelings of jealousy or envy or oh, I wish I thought of that first. But it's so negative and poisonous for yourself to allow yourself to feel jealous. And I say allow yourself to feel jealous because in my experience, jealousy is like self-generated. It comes from within. You decide that this is something worth your attention and it creates this really negative icky feeling inside. No one can do that to you. It comes from yourself. So I really think you need to recognize when that's happening and squash it. Squash it like a Japanese beetle in your rose garden because there is nothing good that can come from envious, jealous, competitive feelings that just leave you feeling bad and there's just nothing that you can do other than stew. So if you're feeling a little bit jealous of something someone has done, they're this awesome gig they got, some publication they're in, the book deal that they just signed, whatever it is, recognize it. Ooh, ooh, that icky feeling. It's jealousy. And name it. I'm jealous because I wish I had done that first. Or, gosh, that's, I'm about to do a shoot that looks just like this and it's already been done. Whatever the feeling, right? Recognize it, name it, and then you can choose what to do from there you can use it as motivation. You can use it to feel competitive in a good way where you're like, I'm going to up my game. Or you can actually turn it into something positive and like leave a nice comment on somebody's Facebook page or their Instagram feed and say, wow, this is beautiful. Good for you. Congratulations. I wish I had thought of this or whatever. Really, really great work is all you need to say. And then you'll start to recognize that that good comment you just made, that positive interaction you just had with the thing that made you feel negative, is going to like make that negativity go away. You can shake it off. You can brush it off because you don't need to dwell in envy and negativity. There's nothing good that can come from it. And then just focus on yourself because that's the best way to eliminate competition is to just focus on you. What do you do? What's your strength? What are you going to do that's the next cool thing? And then you don't have to worry about what other people are doing. Because what looks like success, someone could be so successful. They have so many followers and people are can't give them enough thumbs up. And you're like, hey, I'm doing great work over here and no one's paying attention to me. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because... What's important is what you really want to accomplish, not how many people are seeing what you're accomplishing. So if you have a successful business, if you're happy with your work, if your staff is happy, if you have a healthy family and you're able to balance, you know, maybe they're balanced like this, not quite like this, but if you're able to balance your family and your work life, people are envious of you. Okay, so just recognize that you have to just be happy with what you get and don't focus on what other people have. Use it as motivation, be positive, and you have plenty of things for people to be jealous of. And just remember that. So you don't want people being jealous of you, so don't be jealous of other people. Nothing good can come of it. Um, I hope you find this helpful because this is the time of year where 
we're all seeing so many awesome things and you go, oh, wow, that's beautiful or, oh, I've never seen something like that. And don't let it become a negative for you. Make it positive because you're talented, you have a successful business, and you're just going to keep moving forward past the jealousy and into positivity. So I hope you find this helpful. Leave me a comment because I don't have enough comments. I'm so jealous of people who have more comments. Leave a message. Let me know how you deal with jealousy or how you turn jealousy into positivity because we could all use more of that in our lives. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Mirror, mirror in my hand, who is the most talented florist in the land? It's that florist down the street. You know, the one with 5,000 followers. Much busier than you. Stupid mirror.